see if we can't figure out. Oh, sorry, Rusty. That's not good. Okay, that's okay. The brakes are gone. That's all right. We can drive without brakes. You ready for this, Dave? Yes. Okay. Brakes have just uh, brake lines just been hooked on a branch, and the brakes are gone. The buffalo are all standing here looking confused. I would stop, but I can't. There we go. There's Brent. <laughs> Okay, cool. Hmm. Oh goodness. Okay, with no brakes, we're just gonna have to do this, Dave, and you're just gonna have to watch out. Here we go. This is fun, isn't it? Oh, this is definitely a good way to spend one's morning. Especially without brakes. It's just that little additional test of skill that everybody needs once or twice during the, the average Tuesday morning. Okay, this is the crossing point. Lock on. Brakes non-existent, so that doesn't really matter either way. This VR rig is going to get... Um, let's try it. Let's do it this way then. I don't want to smash the VR rig either. Okay. Come on, Rusty. Come on, Rusty. Come on, Rusty. Come on, Rusty. Hey! You legend. Now what? Thorns. Ow. I hope my earpiece is intact after that, because my arm certainly isn't. <laughs> I can't stop us going backwards, Dave. There's no brakes. Everybody duck. Well, the good news is Steph is still in town. So we can get the brake line fixed. Oh. Whew. We're through. How are you, Dave? All good. Are you all in one piece? How's final control? Are they still alive there? <laughs> yep, there they are. <laughs> okay, where are these where are these lions? <laughs> Standing by. A firm. Copy. Uh, just give me one more rev so I've got an exact position. Just give me a bit of a rev. Okay, copy, thanks. Okay, guys, Brent's got a flat. Uh, we've got no brakes. Hold on, Darby. We've got to get there fast because he can't. It's getting it's getting flat fast, and he's surrounded by lions. <laughs> oh, you know, day in the life of the Wild Earth team. Our antenna's bobbing away. Peter Bratz probably in final control with his head in his hands. Brent is a wall. All right. Let's go across to Brent with his flat tire. I'm going to try and find him. Oh, and he might have found him. Let's go across to Brent anyway. So literally, as I got to the lions, one of the plugs in the tire popped out. I just heard it, 
and I was about to say, oh, Rebecca, I'm ready for a link. And uh, then I noticed that my tire was getting more and more flat. So I had to try to get out of there as fast as possible. The lines are not far, but there's enough bush in between us that I should be able to change the tire safely. But I'm just going to explain to Jamie where to go. So if you come behind me and get to the edge of the, the, the drainage and then just follow it down there. You can see that jackalberry sticking out of the bush there. They're directly opposite it. Uh, all lying in a pile. A pile of lions, yes. Not a pride, a pile. Um, they, got, they got a for a fright, or not a fright, they all lifted their heads when it my tire started leaking. So I'm going to change my tire. I'm going to leave you with these. I might go, if I succeed in changing a tire and not being eaten, I, I might go back to the ones at Sydney's. All right. so Sydney's yes. Um, male leopard fight. Yes, I was half listening. We, we nearly got stuck coming through as well. Oh, let's just put in low range. Who needs brakes? Don't need brakes out in the bush. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to start changing my tyre, so while we do that, uh, let's go back to Jamie.